Now, solving C is different than solving these ones over here. Because these ones over here, you can rewrite them to have the same base. What do I mean by that? 8 is the same as 2 to the 3rd power. 32 is the same as 2 to the 5th power. So see, they both have a base 2. You can do the same thing with this guy and the base 3. This one you can't. You can't do that. So what you do instead is, um, oh, I like to natural log. You can do a different one, I suppose. I'm going to natural log both sides. All right, now I can take this power right here and drop them down in front. So now I have a new, um, new looking equation. And I'm going to pause right here and give you guys a chance to finish it yourself. Do not worry about using a calculator. Leave the natural logs alone. Just get the x alone right now. Okay, so what you got to do here is you would divide both sides by natural log of 15. Then you would have 2x minus 1 equals natural log of 125 divided by natural log of 15. And you can't, you can't do anything with that. When you have logs dividing each other, you can't simplify that or anything like that. You have to use a calculator if, if you don't know what the log is. And then you would add 1 to both sides, and then divide by 2. Now instead of dividing by 2, I'm going to multiply by 1 half, because it makes it look prettier. So I have x, because 1 half times 2 is 1x. And then when I distribute this, this is what I get. I get natural log of 125 over 2 natural log of 15 plus 1 half. And that would be an excellent answer. Now I I wanna I wanna give someone credit. If you if you thought something else to do, then that that would be great. Uh, there's another way you can do this. Let's say you thought, oh, I'm gonna do log base five of both sides. Maybe you thought that. I don't know. See, if you thought that, you do log base five of one twenty five. That there's an answer for that. What's log base five of one twenty five? What power of 5 gives me 125? 3. Three. And over here you have 2x minus 1. Then you have log base 5 of 15. Okay, how do I get the, the x alone? Well, I would have to divide by log base 5 of 15. Then I have 2x minus 1. Again, you add 1 to both sides. And then we can do the the one half thing to both sides again. So I have 3 over 2 log base 5 of 15 plus 1. No, I'm sorry, 1 half. So you might be wondering, what the heck? How does this, how is this the same as this? All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of manipulation here to show you. 3 over 2 times 1 over log base 5 of 15, and then I'd have to go 1 over, oh, this is going to be weird, natural log of 15 over natural log of 5, which would then equal, <laughs> I'm going to lose you guys now, natural log of 5 over natural log of 15, I don't know, I, I'm totally losing you guys right now, okay, and then after that, check this out, check this out. We get 3 natural log of 5 over 2 natural log of 15. Now, we're closer to this. You guys see how we're closer? What happens to this 3? That 3 can be a power, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How did you do that? That was pretty rad, huh? You know that to be 125, so now it's the same. The two be a power of Technically, yes. You could also make this two into a power of 15. Oh, 